Now that we're in the neurological chapters, I wanted to talk a little bit about the basic structure and function of the brain. This is going to be a fairly simple overview for my EMT students. Let's start with some of the most important parts, the brain stem. And this is where a lot of the vital functions um, takes place. This is going to be things where we control things like uh, respiratory rate, pulse rate, blood pressure, the vomiting center. So a lot of the things that are and really crucial to um, to just our body body living. A little bit up and behind from that is the cerebellum or little brain or hind brain, um, and this area primarily um, is going to be controlling things like um, coordination and movement and posture and balance. Uh, <clears throat> moving up from there, we have the whole cerebrum, and this is where higher function takes place. Uh, this is what we kind of consider to be the um, more advanced brains. And then the front part of the brain, or the frontal lobe, um, this area is our area that we control things like emotions and behavior and reason, um, planning, some facial expression stuff, problem solving, um, that sort of stuff. Immediately behind that, you have a thin strip of the motor cortex that controls movement. A little bit behind that, you have a sensory cortex, and this area controls or, or regulates senses, um, touch and feeling. Um, it's not the other senses, just, just touch and feeling. We go behind that to the parietal lobe, and this um, is a little bit more of our body awareness and spatial orientation, um, and it does a little bit of regulation of sensory uh, information. Um, and of all things, numbers and some of the reasoning and mathematics is considered in that area. On the very back of it, we have the occipital lobe, and this is primarily visual stuff, so things like recognition and spatial analysis. Um, so this is a pretty well-developed part of the brain for humans because we do a lot of stuff that is visual. And then we get over to the side of the brain, the temporal lobe, and um, this area is primarily for things for auditory, like um, speech and listening to verbal um, language and sound um, and visual memory, um, spatial, not spatial memory, um, auditory memory. Um, and that area is, is the temporal lobe. So I hope this helps um, kind of sort out what part of the brain does what. And uh, if you are having a patient with a stroke and they're having a specific type problem, you can even make a good guess of what part of the brain is affected by the stroke.